Welcome to the Legalpreneur Podcast. I'm your host, Andrea Sager, founder and CEO of Legalpreneur Inc. As a serial entrepreneur and someone that works exclusively with small business owners legally protecting their business, I'm dedicated to covering common legal issues faced by business owners, providing you with the business knowledge you need to catapult your business's growth and showing you just how some of the world's most elite entrepreneurs have handled these legal and business issues themselves. In true attorney fashion, the information in this episode is not legal advice. This is for informational purposes only, and you should always consult with your attorney before implementing any of the information in the show. Hey there, welcome back to another episode of the Legalpreneur Podcast. I'm so pumped for today's episode. We're going to be digging into a little bit of goal setting and getting clarity. But before we get into that, Don't forget, Legalpreneur Live tickets are on sale. These will sell out. We have limited seating available, so make sure you get those tickets. VIP will sell out, I know, within a couple of months, even though the event is not until October. VIP will sell out really quickly. Uh, We've already announced Ali Webb, founder of Drybar, as our keynote speaker. We also have Danielle Canty from Boss Babe. She's one of the co-founders. And Pollyanna Reed, who is a celebrity ghostwriter. She writes for Forbes, Business Insider. Like, seriously, all the badass people that you need and that you didn't even know you needed in your life. (laughs) So many amazing speakers are going to be at Legalpreneur Live. And if you want to get the opportunity to even meet these speakers, that's where the VIP comes in because we're having this huge VIP reception. It's going to be amazing, mixing and mingling with all the speakers. So make sure to get your tickets now and you can use the promo code there in the show notes. Click the link, use it and get your discount. Okay. So I want to chat about goal setting because one thing that I realized whenever I was growing and building my law firm was I had to break through a lot of limiting beliefs. And I wouldn't even say I realized it at the time. I just knew, hey, this sounds really outlandish. But because I surrounded myself with really, I think it was honestly a lot of podcasts, a lot of people online that I surrounded myself with who just helped me believe that more was possible. So I, the first year of my law firm, I made over $400,000, like first year in business, almost unheard of to hit that number. And then every year after that, we hit a million dollars. Well, once I, so the first year of the law firm, I remember, I think my goal was like 500,000. And my ex-husband at the time, I remember him thinking, I remember him saying very specifically, like, Okay, yeah, whatever. Like, didn't think it was possible. Okay, I don't know if I really thought it was possible or not, but I was like, sure, let me pick this random arbitrary goal of 500,000, and that's just what I'm going to shoot for. Okay, I, I never hit that goal. Um, I never hit the 500,000 goal. And actually, the second year, I didn't hit the million dollar goal. I w- Okay, so I'll be really transparent. It was literally like $975,000, <laughs> but basically a million dollars. So the first year, the goal was 500000 I came short, like $100,000. I hit 400000 in sales. And then the second year, the goal was a million, and I came short again. That's okay. Like, pick those really fucking outlandish goals and come short. Because guess what? If you pick the $100,000 goal or the $200,000 goal, if you come short, like, you're still going to be way shorter than if you set the goal of the $500,000 or the million dollars. Now, when setting these goals, make sure that there's a purpose behind them. And when I say purpose, like don't say you want a billion dollars and not really mean it and not really have a purpose for what those dollars are going to do. Like my, so my goal is to sell Legalpreneur for a billion dollars, at least a billion dollars. Like I don't plan on being a billionaire I plan on being a multimillionaire. Like, honestly, like to break down the numbers, once we sell for a billion, I, at the time of that, most likely the investors, I'll be diluted to my own shares of probably about 25 to 30% ownership in Legalpreneur. 
when that happens, I, if we sell for a billion, then I will have 250 to 300 million, possibly more, possibly less, depending on what my ownership share is. So I don't plan on becoming a billionaire, but I do plan on becoming a multimillionaire whenever we sell Legalpreneur. But I have a job for all those dollars. I have a job for all those dollars. And it's, and when I say a purpose, I don't mean it has to be this fill in, everything has to go to charity. Everything has to go to this good cause or that good cause. If you want to go pay for a nanny, a butler, buy your parents a house, buy like whatever it is you want, that is okay. But guess what? Knowing what you want to buy, it gives those dollars a purpose. Now, it doesn't mean that's actually what those dollars have to be spent on. You just want to make sure those dollars have a purpose. Now, giving the dollars a purpose, again, like I have so much that I want to give to charity. I have so much that I want to just have basically fuck you money and do whatever I want with. And giving the dollars a purpose puts more oomph behind hitting those goals. So if you want to make 500,000, if you want to make a million dollars this year, make sure you know why, make sure you know what those dollars are going to, because if not, then it's, then that does make it just an arbitrary goal. But if you have a purpose for those dollars, it's like, okay, I want a million dollars because I want a hundred thousand dollars to go to this. I want 50,000 to go to this. I want 200,000 to go to this. So whatever it is, give those dollars a purpose. This speaks to getting very clear and having a lot of clarity around what it is that you want. And again, all of these things can change, which is perfectly fine. But because you have a purpose and these dollars have jobs, then you're most likely to hit those goals. Otherwise, it's just an arbitrary goal and there's really not meaning behind it. So you need to have meaning. You need to have purpose behind these goals. And it doesn't just have to be for dollar amount goals. If you want a goal of, we'll use me for another example. Like I want to have a very fulfilling, loving relationship in my life. And I mean, first, like I'm doing that with myself, but I do want a partner. I want a partner in my life. And the purpose for that is because, I mean, for a number of reasons, but number one, like I want to build a fucking empire with my partner. I can absolutely do things alone. Like I've proven that, but now it's like, I want to build an empire with my partner. I want us both to have our huge companies, our huge goals. I want to build this together. And I don't necessarily just want to have this loving partner that makes me feel like, of course I want them to like make me feel giddy inside. I want to have this loving relationship, but a big part of the reason is because I want somebody that I can build an empire with because legal preneur is not going to be it for me. Like it's just another part of my journey. Like I'm a serial entrepreneur. There's going to be many businesses that I have and I want the same for my partner. I want to build an empire with my partner. So all these goals that I have there's purpose behind them. And it's not necessarily, you know, charity. It's not philanthropic. Like there are those reasons built in there, but that's not the only reason. Because I think a lot of people when they hear, oh, you have to have a purpose, you have to have a why. It doesn't have to be this, what most people consider a feel good reason. It can just be because that's what you desire. But you have to recognize why are they, why do you desire it? Okay, I want a million dollars because it's going to make me feel like a fucking badass. Great. I want a million dollars because I want to go buy this restaurant. Okay, great. I want to go buy my dream car. Do it. Like, absolutely. Like, that is a very good reason. (laughs) I want to go buy my mom or my dad, or I just want to have all this money in savings. Okay, great. Like, just have a purpose. I'm very, I will tell you guys this, like I'm so happy right now where I am and being alone, but I know like I do eventually desire to have a partner, but right now, like I have been doing so much deep work and right now I'm in such a good place. And right now I just can't imagine even like sharing my space with an, with a man. I'm like, oh my God, there's like a trend on TikTok right now where it's like, imagine having to share this with a man and they're like laughing. I'm like, oh God, don't even make me think about that right now. All right, you guys, 
your goals. Just have clarity and have a purpose behind them. Be very clear. It's like, oh, I want to make a lot of money. That's not clear. That's not having clarity. Put a number and give that number a job. Break it down. What is it going to be spent on? What do you want to spend it on? And know like, okay, this may change. This may not be what I actually spend it on, but this is why I want the money. This is why I want the relationship. This is why I want the body that I want. This is why I want this, want that. Give it all a purpose because that gives it a job. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think. Reach out on the gram. Everything's linked in the show notes. And go buy your ticket for Legalpreneur Live. I'm so excited for this. I hope you guys are too. We have more speaker announcements coming soon, so stay tuned. Here at Legalpreneur, we're committed to providing a supportive legal community for all business owners. I know how scary the legal stuff can be. If you found this information helpful, I would be so grateful if you could share it with a fellow business owner. And quite frankly, it doesn't cost anything to rate, review, or subscribe to the show. Your support helps me reach more listeners, which allows me to support more business owners in their entrepreneurial journey. Have any questions or comments about the show? feel free to drop me a line on Instagram. I promise I read all of the messages and comments. And if you want to be a guest on the show or know someone that would make a great guest, simply fill out our application form and a team member will reach out if we think it's a good fit. I'll see you in the next episode.